Hey, now listen, Stacey, you've got something exciting happening tonight. Oh, um, I don't know if I'd go as far as exciting. It is exciting. But it's different. Yeah. I have somehow managed to say yes to going on a ghost hunt in a haunted prison. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You have a choice. One minute we're I in a know. camper van, now you're in a prison. <laughs> don't get jealous of the ghosts I'll be spending time with. Jealous. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why I do this, but people come up to me and they're like, so we've got this Cause really good idea. Because <laughs> you just say yes more than you say no. I know. <laughs> I need to learn the power of no, Janet, because now I'm, I'm actually so nervous about it. I'm going with Nadia, so at least I'm not on my own. Yeah. And Nadia? <laughs> <laughs> she's going to be no good in a crisis, is she? <laughs> I think she's quite not scared of that type of stuff. No? Oh, God you damn it, you're making it worse. You by, like, a serial killer or something. Excuse me. Yeah, why have you come back as another person? Why if someone takes over your body? I think you'd be quite happy, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to be showing it on the show next week, but you're actually... You're here tomorrow. Yes. And so we well, can... I bloom and hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if just the pile of dust comes in and sits on that chair, I know there's been a problem. <laughs> Have you ever no. seen a ghost? Any of you ever seen a ghost? No, no? thanks. No. 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 I don't really want to either. No. If they do exist, I, I don't know why I'm going to this place. <laughs> 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 Sometimes we walk in, you just hear, get out. No. Oh, listen. <laughs> I'm not one of those crazy yeah, people who's going to carry on going in. <laughs> 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 I think I've seen one. How but do you? It was, it's unintentional. I didn't like go looking. Like you're going like ghost busting and stuff. Were you in an old building or something? I was in. It was years ago in an old flat that I lived in, and I'd uh, people who aren't into this are going to think I'm a bit mad, but I am. I'd, I'd done lots of yoga and meditating, and because I like all that sort of thing, I was on my own, and it was night time, and I had candles and stuff, and I was at the last bit where you sort of finish your yoga and you lie down, and I was very you know meditative state, and then I just felt really strongly that there was someone in the house. So my first thought was burglar. You know, the first thought isn't always ghost. I thought burglar. And I lay really still thinking, what do I do? What do I do? And then I went like this and I looked inside and I saw a pair of men's shoes. <laughs> Literally just there. And then I, I went and looked up. But that's not the weird bit. The weird bit was, was he was dressed like King Charles II. <gasps> oh, Literally, the, the proper, like, shoes that you... Like that! Oh, yes. my goodness! Yeah, the, wig that, the wig and everything. Are you sure it wasn't just a burger in fancy dress? It could have been. <laughs> 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 I just, I just shut my eyes and counted to ten and then just went like that and he'd gone. So there we are. If only my relationships had been <laughs> so easy, <laughs> you know. Did after the shoes had gone, did you yeah. check that nothing had been stolen and it wasn't a Berber in fancy dress? Just I out. hadn't, actually, but you could be right. While I was lying there with my eyes shut, praying that he'd go. <laughs> Same as other relationships. Um, <laughs> yeah, could have been, could have been. I would have moved.